I wasn't yours. I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back to who I was before. I like me better, I like me better. Hey guys and welcome and or welcome back to my channel. So as you can see by the title today, I am finally testing out Rem Beauty. If you guys did not know, Rem Beauty is the new makeup brand by Ariana Grande. She's very popular, of course, very popular singer, but she's also very popular for her fragrance brand that she's got. So when I heard that she was launching makeup because I like the music, because I like the fragrance, I was excited. But this is one of the weirdest launches I've seen in a minute because it launched last month. I don't remember the exact day, but it launched last month, got my confirmation, stuff like that. Actually, even before it launched, it was weird because like people, it was there was built up to the launch, right? And people were like, oh, it's gonna launch, I'm excited, blah, blah, blah. Then they showed the products and people were like, oh, okay, in interesting, right? Um, <laughs> When I saw it, I definitely saw, I definitely thought the same thing. I mentioned that in one of those, like, let's talk about new makeup launches videos, but I still said I'm going to test this out when it comes, right? So it launches, I purchase it. They say, you know, they send another email saying like, hey, due to high demand, you know, uh, it's going to take a minute to get your pack. I didn't think they meant this type of minute, okay? I, it's taking a minute for me to receive this package. So I placed the order on November 12th and I just received it yesterday, which is December 11th, so almost a month to receive. And they're like, due to high demand, it's gonna be uh, slow on shipping. And it's like, you were launching a brand with Ariana Grande. You didn't think there was gonna be high demand there. Even even with all the people that were dragging the, the products when they showed what they were looking like, you didn't think there was gonna be high demand? But I finally did get it yesterday. I only got three things because again, when I saw all the products that were coming out with, that wasn't really giving much, but I picked up an eyeshadow palette, an eyeliner, and a plumping lip gloss. So let's get into it. So this is the eyeshadow palette. It's the Midnight Shadows. How do I open this up? This is what the packaging looks like. And then on the inside, this is what the palette looks like. I think there's like four or two to four, some, somewhere around there palettes. This one was, I guess, the most intriguing one to me, so that's why I picked this one up. Um, what are we gonna do today? So I'm gonna take this brown shade next to the black first and apply that up here. Then this pinkish red shade, which it looks like a shimmer. It looks like it's actually one of those satin type of eyeshadows. Um, in my crease, mm, let's see. But we're also going to take it down because since it is like a satiny shade, I want to use it as a lid color too. I'm going to do the black on the outside. Okay, and this orange shimmer as the shimmer color. Okay, I also picked up the eyeliner, which is the At The Borderline uh, eyeliner marker in Midnight Black because I've been looking for a good, nice black. Ooh, okay. And the last thing I got is the plumping gloss in the shade on your collar. And that looks like this. Well, that's a pretty color. It's a very light color though. I might need to go put a color down first. Yeah, right okay, now I can use it. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, I thought, you know, it's a squeeze tube. I gave it a little minute to see if there's any tingling since it is a plumping plumping gloss. I do feel a little, little something. Y'all let me know if you feel like my lips are plumping up by the end of this video. But thoughts on the things that I did try? Not, not, not that impressed. 
impressed. I wasn't that impressed when I saw what the actual products were going to be um, in that Let's Talk New video, uh, Let's Talk New Makeup video. But if you do recall, either in that one or some other place where I was talking about celebrity makeup brands, um, a lot of the times, if just the celebrities core fans are going to be the only ones who support this and the only ones that make it a success, that's enough for some celebrities. Like literally they just put stuff out because of their fan base. They know their fan base is going to buy it and that's enough for them. They're still going to make a nice little coin on it, right? That, that's no different here. Her fans are going to buy this regardless. If you happen to be the celebrity who comes out with something, your core fan base buys it and it goes beyond that to like a broader consumer market, then that's even better for you, right? But a lot of the times it's good enough for celebrities if it's just their fans who get it. So I've mentioned that before. I also mentioned specifically on Rem Beauty, I want to keep saying Rare Beauty, um, specifically on Rem Beauty that from the, the packaging to the products to the colors that are in the, the different shades of the products, if the goal is to later on down the line end up in like a drugstore, like an Ulta, something like that, they're spot on when it comes to that type of branding, that type of marketing, because they're definitely the type of products like you're walking down, I don't know, CVS or something, and like uh, the person that's going down the makeup aisle in that store would say, oh, that's interesting, that's cute, right? The people who are like, you know, like they live on Twitter in the beauty community, like they have uh, collections they've got, they, they they live for the swatches they need all of that all that detailed stuff about makeup those people they're gonna look at it and be like really that's really what she gave us right but i'd be telling y'all uh, especially when brands are marketing towards you know putting it in in physical stores where people are gonna they love that type of stuff they love simple they love you know another thing is people again heavily invested into the makeup community quality you know how does it blend how does it do how does it do? a lot of people outside of that who don't care about any of that okay it shows up okay you know i got i got color on my face right i don't really care about how the lipstick wears and how the lip they don't care about stuff like that so if that is the goal down the line it's giving very much good for that right because really the only thing that i tried that i liked was the eyeliner which she is known for her eyeliner you know her winged liner so it's good that one of the things she's she's known for most when it comes to her makeup was the only thing that i liked that i picked up um if you are looking for a nice black easy to use eyeliner recommend that one i like it i like how it's looking on my face but the eyeshadow um i mean yeah like i was saying it was giving just you know it's not the worst eyeshadow I've tried before. It's certainly not the best. You know, the shimmers, they weren't shimming, you know, like the shimmers are shimmering. Okay. They're they're shimmers. That's what it's giving on the eyes, the mattes, you know, like the color the color's there, right? But like you've seen bold or more pigmented colors on. I'll swatch it if I remember to before I end this video. So like the eyeshadow palette, I'm like, okay, you know, and that was the color story out of the options that they had that I was like, I guess I'll pick that one up. And then the lip product is giving, you know, it's a lip product that you picked up in CVS or Walgreens. It's, it's just there. It's on the lips. It's not anything to write home about. So the whole launch is just a little, I don't want, I don't fully understand what's happening here, but I mean, I don't even know what I mean. <laughs> Cause I want to say I expected more, but then I think about it and it's like, why? Why would I have expected more? You know, like when uh, Rihanna launched with Fenty, before that she had the matte collab, stuff like that. She was known for certain makeup looks. Okay, cool. Lady Gaga with House Labs, you know, she's got the editorial makeup down, all that stuff. You're expecting all this creative stuff. Like, no, I've done a video on House Labs. Um, but I, I was about to say that and then I thought, I was like, why? Why would I be, like, why would I be expecting, you know, like paragraph? type of the from the creative vision to the products to all that type of stuff i mean she's she's always been you know simple makeup look. i feel like nowadays when i see her she wears less makeup each time that i see her so i'm like was i really expecting more or did i just i don't know i like makeup so i, I want it more i, I think about it because like i said the whole thing just ha has me kind of feeling like okay you know i bought it i tried it out i saw it for myself to see what it was giving in the future, would I buy anything else? It really just depends on what they launch at this point because it's like, I guess, you know, I don't hate the stuff that I picked up. I don't love it either, besides the eyeliner. The eyeliner is doing something for me. So that's, that's really, 
I guess how, how, how I feel on this one. Here are swatches of five of the six shades. There's the brown right here. It just blends in to my skin. That's why you can't see it that much. But those are swatches of them. The black, I was like, you're, you're black. You know, like that's the one you've got to go in like carefully with when you're putting it on because you don't want to overdo it. But I was, I was like, you're not doing enough. That's, that's a shoot. I just, anyway, those are swatches. Um, there's the swatch of the liner and then you saw the pumping gloss. That's all that I picked up. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you picked anything up, if you, if you received it, if you've tried the stuff out, how you feel about it, if you haven't, if you're not going to pick anything up, let me know in the comments why down below. Make sure to thumbs up, comment, subscribe, turn notification bells, all of that down below. Thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye!